And I pulled the 8.6 in here and start pulling the motor first thing in the morning. I'm gonna get the 8.6 in here tonight. And I don't think I'm gonna get any work done on it, but I have the engine stand ready. It needs to be clean, but it's ready. And so the fun begins. Now, I'm not gonna do anything tonight to the car. It's getting too late and our neighbors are kind of bitchy. But, first thing in the morning, I get to start on that bitch. Remove the hood, pull the engine, take the head to the machine shop. And hopefully, the machine shop, if the machine shop has the head done in time, and they can they can get it done tomorrow. The car, in a perfect world, will be done and back on the road tomorrow. And then I can take it to the shop with me and align it and get it ready for Monster Met Sir. Yeah, so see y'all tomorrow. Let me get the day started. I've already called the um, machine shop and it's going to cost me $60 to have the head resurfaced. So I went ahead and got the cams out of it. If they had pulled the cams out of it, it would have been more expensive than, eh, save a couple bucks, takes 10 minutes to do, not even. But, anyways, so I've got the head disassembled, the cams are out. It looks pretty clean, I mean it's nasty, but it looks pretty clean. And the best part is, the fucking chip. While I was here, since I gotta leave again, to take the head to the machine shop, I so went ahead and got the hood off of the Corolla. That way when I come in, I can just open up the doors and get to work. So we have the head, as I said, the head won't be done for a couple of days. So, it won't be done tonight. But, come Monster Matt Surrey. This thing will be ready to slide. Um, I am currently working on the wiring harness. I have one more wire to undo. And then the wiring harness will be moved out of the way. I've got the fuel rail off. I've got the intake tube off. I've got to disconnect the header. And anything else that may still be picked up. Just one wire right here is my issue. I don't know where it goes to. I'm thinking I'm going to have to jack up the car. But, fuel rail's out of the way. I still got to take the injectors off the wires, but I'm not sweating that yet. I got the chain hooked up to the engine, and I'm working on pulling the engine out, but it's getting hung up. Um, Central and Southwest Virginia, a beautiful place to live and work. What makes the place a great community is you. That's why we are committed to bringing you the local stories that matter to you and your family. Stories about local people, local businesses, and events to keep you informed all the time that's convenient for you. Get your news an hour earlier. Um, WFXR News first uh, at 10. Yeah. It's time to go Find back it. to the 80s. The music giant here. It's as far as it's going. And then the transmission is hitting the um, trans tunnel. Even if I lower the jack, it doesn't move. So. I need to figure out why. She's coming. She will certainly be out tonight. She's out. I gotta separate the transmission from the engine so I can put it on that engine stand over there. But, she's out. I'm also going to I pulled apart my shifter because I had to pull it out anyway to pull the transmission. But I'm going to. Now, coming up in October on the 4th, it's a very special Sidewinders concert. Two, three. Shifter rebuild kit in it. And clean the ever living shit of this nasty ass bay.